Welcome to this audiobook summary of Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. Harari examines the development of our species and the factors that have influenced human civilization in great detail in this book. Let's start now. Chapter 1 The Cognitive Revolution The first part of Harari's book is dedicated to the Cognitive Revolution, which took place about 70,000 years ago. This revolution, in Harari's opinion, was the most significant development in the evolution of our race. It made it possible for Homo sapiens to acquire novel thinking skills that set us apart from other hominids like the Neanderthals. Harari argues that our progress as a species was largely dependent on our capacity for effective communication and teamwork. Humans evolved a common tongue that facilitated the transmission of information from one generation to the following. More complex communities and cultures were able to emerge as a result. Harari also explores the role of common myths in human culture, such as religion and nationalism. These myths are not founded in objective truth, but rather on widespread ideas that help us work together and organize ourselves more efficiently. As a result, people have been able to establish massive communities that are capable of accomplishing amazing things. Chapter 2 The Agricultural Revolution Around 10,000 years ago, there was an agricultural revolution that enabled people to settle down and specialize in certain fields. Larger and more complex civilizations were created as a result of this. Harari explores the effects of the agricultural revolution, such as the growth of organized faith and the creation of societal hierarchy. The capacity to create surplus food facilitated the expansion of urban areas and the emergence of more intricate political systems. But it also paved the way for the exploitation of farms by the ruling class. Harari also examines how the agricultural revolution affected people's well-being. Larger societies were able to grow as a result, but this also brought about new illnesses and other health issues that weren't present in hunter-gatherer society. Chapter 3 The Unification of Humankind In this chapter, Harari makes the case that common myths, like those involving religion and money, have been instrumental in shaping human civilization. These myths are not founded in objective truth, but rather on widespread ideas that help us work together and organize ourselves more efficiently. From the rise of monotheistic religions like Christianity and Islam to the evolution of polytheistic religions, Harari examines the role of religion in human history. He also looks at the function of money in society and how it has facilitated the growth of intricate economic structures. According to Harari, shared myths have helped to facilitate the unification of humankind, which is a comparatively recent development. Large-scale societies have been able to grow thanks to these myths, but they have also led to conflict and violence. Chapter 4 The Scientific Revolution Episode 1 With the start of the scientific revolution in the 16th century, a new perspective on the world founded on skepticism and empirical data emerged. This has significantly altered human society and how we view information. In his study of the scientific revolution's effects on human history, Harari examines how contemporary science and technology came to be. He argues that significant advancements in human health and well-being have resulted from the development of science. But he also looks at the ethical dilemmas brought on by the advancement of science and technology. For instance, developments in genetics and biotechnology have sparked debate over the function of technology in human civilization and its abuse potential. He insists that the Enlightenment, which in turn laid the groundwork for contemporary democracy and capitalism, was made possible by the scientific revolution, which also gave birth to the idea of progress. Although the scientific revolution has greatly benefited mankind, Harari also acknowledges the ethical dilemmas that have arisen as a result of the advancement of science. These concerns still present a challenge to humankind today, such as the potential misuse of technology and the effects of climate change. Chapter 5 The Scientific Revolution Episode 2 In this chapter, Harari analyzes the scientific revolution, a time when people began to think empirically and logically instead of following philosophical dogma to empirical and rational thinking. The scientific revolution was a significant turning point in human history as it paved the way for modern science, technology, and medicine. Galileo, Francis Bacon, and Isaac Newton are just a few of the significant individuals and concepts that Harari explores in his study of the scientific movement. 
He highlights Galileo's role in the invention of the telescope, which made it possible to observe and study celestial bodies, as well as Newton's laws of motion, which offered a conceptual foundation for comprehending the natural world. Harari also examines how science has influenced contemporary political and economic structures. With this we come to an end on part 1 of the audiobook summary of Sapiens. We hope this summary has provided you with valuable insights into the history of our species and the forces that have shaped human society. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for part 2 video soon. Signing off.